and it's in pretty rough shape I got this from somebody for a really cheap price of course you want to pay more than that for this but it's at first I hesitated on it thought about it and I said you know what I'm gonna get that and just see how much I can restore this and bring it back you know it's always neat to have one of these these are highly sought after everybody wants one of these uh, you know it's into this type of stuff so and I mean you can see let me zoom in I did that right there I kind of scratched that in my finger just see if that come off whatever that gunk is so that can be cleaned up because I can you can't see it on camera I can see the lines behind through that little bitty scratched up place right there you go maybe you can't see that so can be clean that's pretty bad I'm looking let me see let me just move let me move this you can see it this way better yeah you can see all around here that's pretty corroded pretty ugly and then see where the dirt daubers and bugs and stuff's got in here and filled these full of dirt and look in there how you can see that it's pretty corroded in there and I can't get any of these to turn I've tried and tried and tried to you know just initially you know I can probably spray it and soak it and see or I may even have to replace all of these back it out you can see what I'm doing here I'm gonna have to replace all these I am not sure yet we'll see they may just soak them in a little bit of some kind of lubricant and let them soak and they may start working again but even if this ain't even if this don't come back to a perfect I'm still going to restore it and do the best I can with it. You know, in some of these things, you, some people says, just leave the patina on it, leave it like it is, you know, restore it, make it electrically work again, perfect. Leave it like it is, you know, do a little cleaning. But with this right here, this is going to do, I'm going to have to do some cleaning on this. This ain't going to, I just can't leave this like this. And look at the back here. Let's see if we can get where you can see this too. Um, it's the best way to do this. Let's see. That's dirt coming off of there. So there's a bug in there. Probably those dirt daubers or something stuck on the back here. It's coming off. I'm not sure what that is. So this thing was not took care of. Probably thrown in a basement somewhere. Or almost looks like it was out in a barn or something on the ground I don't know but this turns and feels okay that uh, this knobs turning okay the voltage selectors capacitance selection all that seems to be okay there the switches are moving so these here move so we'll see it's not it's not going to be a perfect uh, pristine probably restore but I just decided I want to see just how much I can bring this back to its glory so find something here see if we can get this screw okay good I was afraid that was gonna be my head is part yet and look at this I thought there was just one screw in this there's two behind this stuff here I'm being very careful doing this whatever this is there's another screw back here well, whatever that stuff is it has preserved that screw a little bit it's not as rusty as the other one 
Okay, this should go really easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look at this here. Full of bugs up in there, dirt dauber nests, and whatever else. See that? Down here's one. All kinds of trash in there. So let's put this out of the way so I don't run it over. Alright. So, oof. okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's definitely original. I don't see anything that's been changed out. So, and there's, let me bring this in, let's bring this up, this light where it's, it's kind of hard to get that where I want it, so yeah, this bug stuff on here, but see, it's coming off, so that'll clean up, that'll clean up good you can see this tube here let's see if it's going to come out it's definitely went white so that'll have to be replaced that'll definitely have to go there to replace that I've not looked at the schematic on one of these in a long time 6BN8 6 Bravo Nancy 8. Okay, and here's what well, fell out almost. This here should be a 6AX4. Yeah, 6AX4 GTB. This one's probably still good, but I don't know. This has got left on shorted out or something. I'm not sure why that one's done that well I mean it's had a rough life might got thrown around or something it's got a crack in it or something but you can see that all original capacitors here this one will have to go that have to go there's two capacitors here it's gonna have to go Allen Bradley style resistors so that'll probably be alright but the life this thing's had, who knows? Clean all the contacts up in here and in all of these potentiometers. And then on this side, I have two here that'll have to go. Alan Bradley, but let me see if I can get this to zoom in where I want it. I'm gonna have to pick it up here. Move the camera just a bit. Yeah, that's gonna show. It'll focus in. See the corrosion in here? I'm looking for my I said my pointer outlay in here, my diddle stick, but see that corrosion. So those resistors may or may not be good. There. I'll have to see. Yeah, so you get all these back out just a little bit. And come back in right here. Hey, you're not going to focus that close, are you? These are definitely all Allen Bradley style. But you have all these, so hopefully. All these or most of these will still be good. I'll have to go through and check every one of these in this. Usually, you know, when you see the Allen Bradley style resistors and something, you can check two or three of them. If they're fine, usually just leave them. You're fine because they're usually really good and continue to stay good over the years. The wires don't look like nothing's been chewing on or anything. It's just like insect bugs, you know, getting not like rats or anything or mice, but... Yeah, do some a lot of cleaning up on this. But really, on 
of these. Well, you can't go by looks on fuses, but the fuse, I'm looking at this fuse down here. Fuse actually looks good. It's the gold. You know, a piece of bug thing fell out there. The gold in these is this right here, this transformer. And this switch here. Because if, if the cabinet and everything's really bad, whatever, you could take this circuit and parts out and put it in a different cabinet or something. And this switch, and this transformer, and mainly to the switch on the front here. This is why these are so highly sought after, because people like to reform capacitors with them. I don't know if I really want to get into that reforming capacitors thing. <laughs> That's such a controversy, but I just tell you, I think I've mentioned it before. My thoughts on it: capacitors are cheap. There, you know, there's no reason to reform them. Yes, I know the audio guys, and yes. I have audio stuff and you can tell a difference you do hear a difference people say oh you can't hear it yeah you can you can hear a difference you know if you have an older capacitor or whatever but there's ways to make the circuit give you the same sound and not you know I just don't understand because you take these capacitors and reform them try to reuse them and one of them goes especially like this one here that sucker shorts out, takes out your transformer, and then what good is it? A transformer, it's hard to find. You know, now, of course, with a piece of test gear like this, you know, you don't want to recap everything. But I'm talking about in an audio amplifier. There's ways to get that sound without having, you know, put the old capacitors in there. You know, it's just silly to me that some of them, you know, you can't argue with. And I don't want to start an argument with anybody, but you just cannot argue with them that you know it's just what they've been told what they've got in their head psychology you know human nature and it's just it they're not going to budge but this is this right here because most of these older capacitor checkers when you flip this down you have to hold it down or it's a button you push in hold in to test it to watch your eye tube up here and when you let go the switch goes back up or the button pops out because if you leave this down and forget, and this is over on 600 volts, this will go from 3 to 600 volts here. And you reach and grab a hold of this, it's not going to be a good day. So, you got to always remember these, you put it back to discharge before you remove the capacitor you got in a test or whatever. But you can take this, stick it on the voltage you want, put it on this, it holds the voltage there. And then... You just walk away and let it reform your capacitor. So that's why these are highly sought after. Stick down electrolytic, put it on leakage, and there you go. Walk away from it. Go do something else for 30 minutes, an hour, two or three hours. Let that capacitor reform. But then you've got a capacitor that's not reliable and could go out at any time and take out more expensive stuff with it. So anyway... So there it is. This is usually I try to make the introductions a little bit shorter, quicker, and then spend more time on what I did in the restoration, what parts I had to change, or whatever. But I thought you guys would find this interesting. I keep trying to turn it around so you can see different angles because somebody's going to say, "Ah, oh, you didn't show such and such and whatever." But yeah, it's I've seen things way worse out there. That's way far gone where something is so corroded like the metal inside of here is corroded out and there's holes eating in it or something. Or especially the you know the thinner stuff here. There's a hole eating through where you just where you just look at it and just barely push and touch your finger to it and just finger pushes through it. And it's so eat out, you know, and corroded and rusted out. So this one uh, I'm gonna make it work one way or the other. But let's hope I don't have to change out any of these things that's hard to come by or have to redo something. And hopefully this transformer in here is good. Not worried about this over here. 
But this main one, I hope, is good. So Anyway, so there it is. I'll have a schematic and everything. I'll come back here. And we'll go over this and do this. And restore it. And I'm also going to make this uh, two video things to try to put them into one. Because I know we're living in some odd times right now. And instead of me doing this and take a few days to restore it. And then put everything together. It takes me longer to get another video out. And you can already probably noticed on my channel the videos are kind of getting a little more spaced out too. There's a lot going on with the kids being home. and uh, It really eats into time for videoing and working on projects. And usually when I, you know, there's just a lot of things change, you know, with these odd times we're living in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one edited up and get this out for a part one on this and then i'll come back with a part two and see how much i can see this here's somebody's pride on it at one time or something like it's twisted something it looks like somebody's grabbed this right here the pliers and pulled up and it's kind of hard to see it but see we make this thing live again and I mean, it may work sort of now, but of course, you know, it ain't going to work when we got that or not work properly. It may work for leakage testing, but it ain't going to tell capacitance and all that. So anyway, I'll get this video up and you'll watch it and hopefully a week or sooner. Can't really promise anything right now. I'll have this thing restored as much as I can and as I go through it I'll try to put some clips in on this one grab the camera out and get some shots of part way through the process and all that stuff and get this see if I can get this thing back to bring it back to life and get it working again until the next video this is Michael KE4EST 73